G'day folks, I'm Camp and Camp, back for Easy Trail, ready to show you the ultimate touring camper, the Kurong GT. What a ripper. So once you've found your level campsite, first thing we're going to do is stabilise this magnificent vehicle with these things. Just to pull these out, drop down the stabilising bars. Just like that. We'll lay that down like that. Fix in. This comes with a kit, handy little rider. One of those there, and we'll continue to do the other three. There's another one, pull this out, click it in, wind it down. As you can see, it's pretty easy, looks pretty nifty too. All hard floor campers come with a winch, with a Curon GT, this is just here as a backup, because it's so easy to open up. I'm gonna show you that now. Over center locks, there's half a dozen of them on the lid, and I've released four, Let's show you with these last two how easy it is. Take one down. You ready for it? Another one. Let it go and it just starts to rise like a nice damper. Now with just my right arm, little assistance with the left, up we go. As I said, there's no winch involved here. This is just me pushing it over and let it fall down. And there we have it. Magnificent, very simple. So the final step is to lock down and secure this lid. And we do that by hooking up the winch, wind it down until it rests flat on these rubbers. Simple, it's all done. So I'm now gonna show you what comes standard with the Kurong GT is the fly. And it can live on top of the tent forevermore. So you get your three pieces, so you will have to feed this through Slot it in, the other one as well, we'll feed it through. Once this is attached to the tent, it can stay up there. It's just added protection for you, and as it's standard with the Kurong GT. I'll now show you how to unite it with the tent. All right, so I've taken it off the ground, our fly. Let's just remember this is a once only effort. There's our bar, I'm now gonna show you how to hook it up to this. And of course, we'll have to go back to the winch to wind it down and get it just past the vertical, about 80 degrees. So I've unwound the winch, got enough meat there, so I can just lazily push it back so it can meet up with the bar. So there we are, safe enough angle not to come back, but you've got the gas struts anyway. You've got the nice Velcro, fold it over, and we'll do the same to the other side. I'm gonna show you a very helpful tip for this fly. You're gonna attach this Velcro corner to up here on the strip. Then it's gonna take the ride across. Use the step. So come up on the step, attach this corner, that strip there, as much as you can. Then we're gonna winch it over. down onto our rubber stoppers, and it came for the ride. What a fantastic idea. Finish off the fly with our strip right across. There it is, the tropical fly. Just do the same to this side, right across. And that's your fly done. So the next step is to drop the step and head on inside to show you how to set up the pole system of the Kurong GT. Just like this. Let's get inside. So welcome inside the Kurong GT. Here we are with the kit. It's the number six pole. There's four of those. They're called corner stays. I'm going to push up the bow and firm them up with these corner stays. Let's show you how to do that. So first of all, slide it up, lock it in. Another one on this side, and I happen to like these standard LED lighting inside. Firm that up. Now, your first corner stay, up we go. Now, you notice I've taken my shoes off because the boss had killed me. Put this corner stay in, raising it up, and continue the process over this side. 
Remember, this is a number six in your kit. Tighten it up, and that bow is up. That side's done. We'll go across and work the other corner. So I love this. I'm sitting on the kid's bed, which is also the dining table, and I'll show you all that later on. They're the final two number six poles, the corner stays. Let's work this side, so we're pushing up the bow. Push up the bow, my standard LED lighting. Lock that in with the T-bolt. Off we go with the corner stay. Clip it in. Tighten it up. Now the final corner. Here it is. The bow. Firm it up. Corner stay. Push it up. Lock it in with the T-bolt. And away we go. And the final stage of setting up your tent with the Kurong GT is to raise the center bow to get the height and boy, we've got a lot of that, over two meters. And of course, to firm up the whole roof. So there's your T-bolts, tighten them up. Bit of a clean and jerk, really. And then, have a look at this. Over two meters of height, fantastic. Don't forget to keep your shoes off, because we've got a magnificent marine carpet on the floor. So in my hands is the privacy screen. I'm now gonna show you how to set this up so you can partition yourself away from the kids. Got three straps onto the center boat. There's one. Another one for the center. Third and final strap. And we've got some zips outside. Another one this side. And then, here you go. Kids, go to sleep. Good night. I'm now going to show you how to set up the kids bed and it's easy starting with this board. Now this board will sit on the three ledges. There they are, right there. Push it up so it's right up to the back. That's the first bit. Next thing is grabbing your collapsed dining table. So that's the state of it, the collapsed state. And that will also just rest on top of that ledge there. Slide that in. Now that's simple. Drop your cushions down. On this stage, your bed. Come and get your other ones. Then get your blankets ready. And that's it. Kids, go to sleep. So I'm now gonna show you how to transform the kids' bed back to the dining lounge. And we've got the cushions in place, ready to go. The board's been put away. And now, it's this little beauty, the table. Now I've done two of the legs, flip these around so they lock in, the final two, and this side has the lever which you pull, and out it pops just like that, and then we're gonna secure this in. So locking it in, nice and firmly. There it is, it's locked in. Now with the dining table locked in, it's now time to position it lengthways or parallel to the sides of the GT bottle. There we go, it's firm, ready for my cup of tea. Where is it? You've seen how quick, easy and simple it is to set up the Kurong GT, both on the inside and the outside. And as a tourer, when you turn off the side of the road, this might be all you require when you fly up there and you're ready to have a good night's sleep. However, if you're gonna stay at the same campsite for a few days, we're gonna now show you how to set up your awning.